Everybody on YouTube, everybody's looking for this, but what they don't understand is that the money is here. You quitting your job is right here. You quitting, you getting time freedom is right here. You making more money than you've made before. You getting a, a 30%, 40% return on your investment is right here. What's going on everybody? My name is Joey C. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about how I made Amazon much easier for myself so that I can really wrap my head around it. But most importantly, try to get to the finish line to success much faster. And maybe what you can focus on, what I focused on, and how I really tried to condense this down into just shorter steps, right? I used to be on YouTube all the time and you're scrolling through thousands and thousands of videos and there's tactics and tips and tricks and hacks and all this stuff that could be super, super overwhelming. But I think that when you distill things down to its its smallest form, right? The least amount of steps that you could take to get a desired result is always better. And so that's what I really did. So what I wanna do is go through some of those things on this video, hopefully it'll help you out and hopefully it could get you uh, closer to your Amazon goal. So basically what I have done, what I call these, I call this the four P process, right? So there's four P's. So first we have product, we have production, We're going to have presentation. And then finally, we have promotion. Right? These are literally the four steps of Amazon. There are four pieces to this puzzle. We have our product, we have the production, presentation at item, and then promotion, right? So there's only four things that you're going to need to focus on. Let's bring this over here. So what that helped me do was really condense it down to just four steps. Instead of all of this work and all of these things that I need to know, all I need to do is focus on these four pieces of the Amazon business and you can make it really easy for yourself because honestly, Amazon is really simple if you just know what to focus on and if you know what to do, right? So if you are at the point where you do not have a product, then you should look at nothing but this. You should be doing nothing but product researching and try to trying to find a potential product, right? And that's where your focus should be. You shouldn't be worrying about anything else in the world because the only problem that you have right now is the product. So that's what I started doing. I started chunking these things down. Once I found a product, then I started to worry about the production of that item. And I didn't focus on anything except that, right? Step two, then, once you have that figured out, then all you can worry about is the presentation because you have to uh, get that ready to be sold on Amazon. And then finally, once that is ready and available for sale, then you can focus on the promotion. But this is how you want it. This is how you want to chunk it down. This is how I chunked it down to make sure that I was only focusing on the things that matter so I didn't get overwhelmed and so that I could make progress. Momentum is key for this business because it makes you feel like you're moving forward. Once you start getting some small wins, honestly, everything else falls in line after that. So let's dive into each one of these a little bit, right? So that we can understand what we're focusing on and how to get the most out of it and how then each one of these feeds the other. And I'll talk a little bit more about it in, in depth. So now that we only have four steps, four steps to Amazon, four things to worry about, right? Let's just talk about the product, right? So we're gonna cut everything else off. What we're gonna talk about right now is the product. Now, what I was doing is I would go on Jungle Scout, I would go on Viral Launch Helium 10, right? And you start doing product research. But the problem that I was having was that I was going through hours and hours and hours and pages and pages and pages and pages of products and I and I wasn't finding anything. I didn't feel like I was I was making any progress. And that's because I was looking at all 350 million items that you know is being sold on Amazon and I was trying to find this needle in the haystack, right? So what I started to do was then filter down what products should I be looking at? Because I think one of the biggest problems that I had, most people have, is that they're looking at products that they'll never have a chance to source. They're looking at products that they'll never have a chance to invest in that may be out of their budget. And they're, they're just spending time in places where time doesn't need to be spent. If you only search for and research and look at products that you can possibly launch, you're gonna have a much easier time. You're gonna actually be able to bring something to the market. 
And so that's something that we need to know. So let's talk about that a little bit, right? And I'll show you how I create my filter. So basically what I'm doing when I start looking for products is there's gonna be two major factors that then shows me what types of products can I even invest in? What types of products should I even be looking at? Because what we wanna do is we wanna throw out as many products as possible and only focus on the things that are gonna work for us. Big shift. We don't necessarily need to find products that are going to work. We need to find a product that will work for you. I needed to find a product that would work for me. Meaning, number one step in the, the little filter here is gonna be your budget, right? Budget. How much do you have saved or are you willing to invest in a product? Now, based on that budget and things that you can comfortably afford, because if you're looking at products that it's going to take $5,000 to, to invest into an order or $10,000 into an order or $2,000 into an order, whatever that number is, if it's outside of your budget, then there's no reason to look at it. Whether it's a good product or bad product anyways, there's no reason to really look at that item. So number one is we have to define our budget. And once we have our budget, then the next way that we can filter this down is then that is going to help us understand the sales velocity, right? That's gonna be number two. Because based on your budget, that's gonna tell you, well, how many units or what type of sales can I start getting into as far as products go, right? Products that are selling 800 units a month or 900 units a month or 600 units a month. Usually that sales velocity is gonna be outside of the budget. If you have a 5K budget, right? Sometimes that's gonna be outside of uh, those numbers, right? Because if you have to order two, two months worth of stock, three months worth of stock, we're talking about having to order thousands and thousands of units and that just may be too high of volume for your budget right now, which is okay. That's okay. Everybody has to start somewhere. That's what that's the big lesson that I learned is that everybody starts somewhere. Usually you don't start making 10 grand right from the beginning. It's okay to make 1,000. It's okay to make 2,000, 4,000, 3,000. It's okay to start off small so that you can reinvest into the business and then you can grow, right? Amazon, if you look at their chart just over uh, the course of their business life, you could see something like this right? Because they, they had exponential growth. They took the time to play small. They did the, the, built the foundation here, right? They did things they needed to do. And then all of that work sprouted to this type, this type of growth. And it's going to be the same thing for your Amazon business. So once we have our budget, we define that number. So let's say it's $5,000. Now we know that, okay, based on 5k, the types of products that we could get into sales velocity wise is probably going to be around, I would say, you know, anywhere, maybe four, 400 units a month and lower, right? And that's okay. This is also a great way to get started because, you know, you don't need to, it just goes to show you don't need to like invest thousands of, do thousands of dollars into inventory right off the bat. And so if you find a product that's selling 400 units a month or even 200 units a month, right? Now these num numbers may not seem astronomical. I know that the, the really trendy thing on YouTube is finding a $30,000 a month product in 16 seconds. But listen, this is a business and this is some, this is an investment that you're going to make so that you can start making some money. You don't always have to dump your life savings into something to start getting the, the wheels going, start putting some fuel in the tank, and then, then you can scale later on. That's why they call it scale, right? It's because it happens over time. It's a period of time. So if we get into a product that's selling 200 units a month, and there you're getting, you know, $8, $10 uh, unit profit off of that. That's really good money, right? What people don't understand is that most people are looking for this huge chunk of gold, right? Everybody is looking for the, the chunk of gold, right? They want the big block, the, the $10,000 uh, $10, a month, $50,000 a month, you know, $20,000 a month item. And everybody's looking here. What they don't understand is that there are little nuggets of gold all over the place. And maybe this makes you $1,000 a month. Maybe this makes you $900 a month. Maybe this one makes you $1,500 a month. Maybe this one makes you two k right? Maybe this one makes you uh, an extra seven fifty dollars a month. Like if you do the numbers, these really add up. And so over time, you have that thousand a month. Then you have another another month goes by. Now you're two k up. Then another one goes by. You have three k up. Another month goes by. You have four thousand dollars now that maybe you can invest into a little bit bigger of a chunk of of gold, right? Something that makes you four k, something that makes you three k, right? And now 
you're making 7k a month now that makes you seven seven thousand dollars a month and then three or four months go by and you can invest in another nugget of gold that's just a little bit smaller right but everybody is looking here everybody on youtube everybody's looking for this but what they don't understand is that the money is here you quitting your job is right here you quitting you getting time freedom is right here you making more money than you've made before you getting a, a 30 percent, 40 percent return on your investment is right here right and that turns into this it turns into this and then eventually maybe you can even invest in something like that right so you know the the, the money is in the details and that's why we want to make sure that we're going through our budget we understand what can we spend so that we can cut out the rest of the products so that we can only look at the sales velocity that matters to us and then we can start when we go on to Jungle Scout, when we go on to other items, when we hop onto Amazon, we can only look for products that are selling within this realm, right? So if we see something that's selling 500 units a month, 800 units a month, 900 units a month, pass by it because we want to focus on our lane. We want to focus in the place that serves us best, not a product that works, a product that works for us. So once I made the switch from looking for you know a great opportunity and looking for products, to looking for a product that worked for me, the entire game changed, right? Because I found a product that I started selling and it started making me 2,500 bucks a month in profit. Nothing crazy. What I did is I did that four more times over the course of a year, I started making 10K per month and I quit my job, right? So you, we wanna be able, focus on the pebbles, focus on the little pieces of gold because those really add up to the big chunk, right? So that's, that's gonna be rule number one is and how we could start focusing down and filtering down with product. That's what I did to make this much easier. I stopped looking at all 350 million items and I only looked at the chunk that I could afford and that I could even have a possibility of launching on Amazon. And then once you find those items, all we need to do is enhance those items, add more value, um, you know, fix something, add something that the customers are really gonna love, really provide value to your customers and there would be no reason that if everybody else is selling 300 units, everybody else is selling 200 units, and you came to the market with something that was better, that you would be able to sell that as well. It's not reasonable that you wouldn't be able to do that, right? So that's the product. So now that we have a good product, right? We only have three more steps to go. Now, all we wanna focus on is the production. That's it. Now that we have the product, we want to focus on the production. So what we can do is we start looking for manufacturers, start getting prices, start getting samples. And what you'll realize is that this piece of the puzzle is pretty simple, right? There's a plethora of, of manufacturers on Alibaba and different places. And what we want to start doing is we want to start trying to talk to these people, but we want to more importantly, build a relationship, right? This is what a lot of people don't understand is that manufacturers want to make they want to make money just like you want to make money. And so if we squeeze them dry and we try to drive their prices down to absolute bare minimum, why would they ever want to work with you or get in business with you when they're not making any money, but you're making all the money, right? So if we could have a good mutual relationship with them where we have good profit margins and also they make money at the same time, they're going to bend over backwards to try to help you and grow your business because they know you're going to make repeat orders. They know that you're going to be a great customer. And honestly, in the long term, when you have a relationship like this, in the long term, they'll give you better prices. I've negotiated my prices down several times with my manufacturers and even the payment terms. That's another big thing, right? Nobody talks about payment terms. Everybody knows that, you know, you go to Alibaba, it's 30% down after the end of production. It's going to be 70%. I pay my, when I do uh, my orders, right? So I do 30% down to get it started. And then I do uh, 20% when they're done. And then they allow me to pay the remaining 50% balance 30 days after it's been selling on Amazon. So essentially my customers will pay for 50% of my orders that doesn't have to come out of my pocket or out of my business because I've built such a great relationship with my suppliers because they make money and I make money. We have a great relationship and they'll do whatever they need to in order to help me sell. So if this helps tremendously with cash flow and I can order more units, I could sell more units and it also helps them to make more money. So that's going to be step two, right? Production. And once we find good manufacturers and we treat them right and we, we know that they'll treat us right back, we do our due diligence here. Then once production is finished, 
it's time to move on to the presentation. And again, we focus on nothing else but the presentation. So now we have two out of the four steps done, right? This is, it's not complicated because honestly, if you have a good product, it fits within your budget, you add value and you have good margins, right? There's good margins here. All the rest of the stuff is easy because once, if we get a, a product that is good quality, then it's easy to present that, right? And it's going to be easy to promote that because everybody loves buying a great product. Everybody loves buying something that has, has high quality and a good price. And so these are going to be much easier. And I'll show you again how this all flows downstream. So now we want to worry about the presentation, right? Step three. So very simple here. If you are not a master of photos, right? Copy, branding, or graphics design, <laughs> right? Graphics design. If you are not a master at any of these, then outsource. That's the easiest thing that I could tell you. I have somebody that does all of my photos for me. I have someone who writes my copy. I have someone who does the branding and I have someone who does my graphics design. People that are way better than I am. They've been doing it for 10 plus years and they're excellent at it. Even if I picked up a camera tomorrow, I would never be able to be as great as them, right? We don't want to be a jack of all trades, master of none. So. Uh, you know, it, because the investment that you make here, you are going to over the lifetime of your business. If you sell that product for five years, six years, 10 years, I will tell you right now that the return on this investment right here is easily 10x, 20x or, or higher. Right. Because I have some products now that make me ten thousand dollars a month, just one product. And I may be invested, you know, two thousand dollars into a listing. I mean, it's just an amazing return on investment. So this is easy, the presentation. What we wanna do here is we wanna highlight benefits, right? The benefits of an item, not the features of an item and highlight what you made back here, right? In your, your product, the value that you added, we wanna highlight that, highlight your value. Show people what you did. Show people why yours is different. Show people what they're going to get when they use your product, right? So that's the presentation. That's the easy part. And you can see how these get easier as we go along, right? Great product. We got, so then we have to find a good manufacturer and we, we negotiate prices and we come to a good agreement. We're both going to make money. Now the pre presentation is easy because we have a great product. There's things we can highlight and we're going to get somebody to do that for us. So we're going to be able to outsource that. So now that the presentation is done, that's going to lead us to the promotion, right? Final step. So we all, we went through three steps and we're already selling on Amazon. Here we are live on Amazon right here. And now because we have a great product and we added value, then we found a good manufacturer and we have good profit margins, right? That's another big thing. We go to the presentation. We have a good listing, right? See how we just keep stacking value? We just keep stacking value. Now we have a good listing here because people are going to see the value. They're going to see all of the things that we added to this. Now the promotion is going to be super, super easy because your PPC, your advertising, everything is going to convert much better because you have all of the, you've done all of these steps prior, right? So it's not about what are the best tactics for PPC? Where are the best keywords and how do I, you know, uh, these secret campaigns, that's not what it is. What it is, is having a great product that people want to buy. It's a great price and it adds value to your customers, right? Because even when you shop on Amazon, that's what you're looking for. And so the promotion of this, you know, advertising and stuff like that, your conversion rates are going to go up, right? Your ACOS goes down and, uh, you know, uh, your reviews go up. All things are going to be good because you've already done everything right from the beginning, right? And so when you focus just on one piece at a time, Product. If you don't have a product, nothing else. Production. If you don't, if you didn't find a manufacturer, somebody do that, nothing else. Then you focus on the listing. Then you focus on doing the PPC. That makes Amazon a lot easier. And that is what uh, you know I used to chunk this down so that I wasn't overwhelmed and that I could finally make progress and make sure that you know I could I could actually get my business started. And so what you'll see here again is that each one fuels the next because a product. We have good promote. We have good production because the production is great. We easily can do presentation and because all those things work, it's going to be easy to promote. Right. And usually if you have a product and it's not selling on Amazon, you're, you want to work backwards. Right. So is your listing fully optimized? If you're not getting sales, is your listing fully optimized? Do you have good pictures. Did you do it correctly? Um, are you highlighting the benefits? 
Did you get someone to write your copy, right? And then if that's not work, what are your profit margins like? Can you not advertise because your margins are too thin? Is your quality good? Did you do an inspection? Um, you know, um, did you get a sample and test it? Are things breaking? And if that, and then if it's still not where, if this is yes, this is yes, then it's got to be the product, right? Did you add value? Is it in a good market? Is there market demand? Um, you know, did you, did you do your due diligence as far as, you know, the type of item that you got into, right? So that's really how you fix a problem. Even if you're on Amazon and you already have a listing, if you're not selling, right? If you're not making sales here, it's something backwards. You got to start working backwards to see where the kink is. Usually it's probably right here. It's probably right here because at the end of the day, everybody just wants to buy a great product. So hopefully this, this, um, this video helped you. That's how I made Amazon simple and how you can make Amazon simple too. chunk it down. It's into four pieces, the product, the production, the presentation, and the promotion. That's all it is. It could be very, very simple. Most importantly, start finding products that work for you and that fit your budget. Stop looking at all the other stuff, hone in on what matters, and hopefully that this uh, video helped you out. I'll see you guys in the next one.